ladies and germs, and welcome back to my Redstone Madness world. So, since last episode, I actually did go on a caving mission, and due to you guys didn't comment, you wanted to see uh, a caving explanation, uh, exploration. Put your teeth in, not your mother's. Um, while we did a Q&A session, uh, I just went ahead and did it anyway. I went two or three times to different areas around the map and as you can see i've got stupid amount of coal which i do need to convert off camera i have a lot of iron and this isn't all of it i also have some iron back at home uh, gold is not exactly abundant redstone is not exactly as abundant as i would like and lapis is just like barely non-existent same with Diamonds, we only have 16, so fortune on those, and emeralds, well, we've got hundreds of them. We found a music disc, 13, a golden apple, and golden horse armor. Um, the golden horse armor, I'm a bit like, um, why did I even bring that? But today, we are doing nothing with the base. We are actually exploring the 1.10 version of mine. I'm hoping that's going to sound a hell of a lot better in editing, because that uh, might have been terrible. Anyway, so we are going to take a look at some of the new blocks, like the loom. And um, let me just see if I can find it. Uh, the crossbow I want to go and check out and at the le 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 -tron I don't know what it is uh, also like we've had jungle signs but uh, jungle and spruce signs and things like that um, they're just signs and I think that that's it oh oh okay yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, banner patterns. Oh, that must be for the loom. So anyway, I'm going to get some supplies and I will meet you back here very shortly. Uh, so, ladies and germs, I've gone ahead and crafted one or two bits and pieces. So as you can see, I have got the loom and the letter, I think it's called, or that's at least how you pronounce it. Hmm. Alright, so I need to make paper and. Oh, you actually get. Oh, it only actually gives you one. Right, well, anyway, let's see what this does. Um, so apparently that gives us that pattern. You can't just, like, click a banner in there and get that pattern. You actually have to create that pattern. Okay, so I actually want it so that we have a purple background and really I have to have that in there? Can I not just like apparently not well That's a bit of a pain. Oh, yeah, I can. I don't want that. I want it, like, filled. Uh, whatever. I really ain't too fussed. And then let's put that in and put that in. And we get... Well, that's that's interesting. It's like you can't repl you can't change the background. I think like there's nothing that here says solid color, so I'd have to do like these two maybe. Oh, 
Oh, if you've got them in your inventory, you can grab hold of them. Okay, that makes a little bit more sense. Um... Oh, okay, so now we have a slightly easier way of doing banners, I'm guessing. Uh, I never really use banners to begin with, but this is the one that I'm interested in. Is just here, actually. Let me just put this stuff in there. So I don't have it. Oh, look, it actually doesn't use the pattern. It gives you the pattern back, so once you've made it, you've made it. Wow. You've got that forever. Oh, my God, I need a creeper one. Um... Okay, uh, give me these. Hang on. Hmm. So, from what I've heard about this, it actually has some redstone properties. So... Uh, I'm going to put it over here, grab myself a couple of, not repeaters, what do I want, comparators. I will grab myself a couple of comparators, and I think they're, oops, there's, I'm not 100% sure. Mm. Today, I, it's Joker, call this meeting to adjourn. <laughs> anyway, let's have a look at this letter. So, I have put down a comparator and some redstone. First thing I want to do is apparently you can't put an empty book on it. Okay, uh, can you put an enchanted book on it? No. Oh, well. Um... Oh, that's a shame. I was hoping that you could, so that you could then um, read the book. So I'm guessing this is only written books. Well, that's a bit of a shame, actually. Um, I was really hoping that you could. Then you could and um, do stuff with it. But hmm. Okay, so that entire idea is a bust. Other than... What you all probably already know about it, you can't put enchanted books or normal books on there. Great. Thank you, Mojang. You did it again. Another useless feature. Like, seriously. What is the point in that? Really? Doesn't do anything other than for a written book. And we don't tend to use written books in Minecraft. And if we do, we just give it to the person. Don't stick it on some podium. Ah, uh, never mind. Right, so. Let's go over to the last thing for today. Uh, we are going to put this and let's... Oh, have I got arrows? Yeah, I picked one. So, as you can see, it is currently night... And I want to try out this crossbow. Oh my god. Well, I want something that's like really difficult to kill. Hmm. Like a zombie takes two hits on right. Now remember this is a flame bow. One, two. Right, let's go find ourselves a zombie, and let's see if this kills it or not. I like the fact you can run. Nope. And the charge is a lot longer. Um... I bet it fires further. Hmm. I don't like that. That took three hits! So it's, at long range, it's actually worse. 
but it can probably go a lot further. Uh, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'll find out. Oh my god! Go away! Go away! I didn't even look at you! Go away! Right, so I will use a normal flame bow and try and hit the thing. Missed it. Oh wow, so the actual curve of the arrow is not as... Oh, actually, it's very, um... Yeah, it is actually very, um, inconsistent. Like, I'm actually closer to it now, which means, technically, I should be getting a higher aim set. Yeah, see, it's at. Let me go and check. I really don't think that the crossbow is even worth it. Yeah, look, the the bow arrow is higher than the crossbow arrow. And according to that, it doesn't even activate that. Since when? Arrows have always activated buttons. Maybe it's just wooden buttons. Maybe I'm missing something here. So, yeah, so far all, most of the features in the game are bust, to be honest. Uh, something that they have uh, brought into the game, and I do want to try as well, is the shield. Now, I am extremely thankful for this one. It's like I tweeted um, somebody at Mojang because I was like, look, you've given us the slot, but then not done anything with the slot. I don't see the point in giving us a slot that it's not going to do anything. And... How are you supposed to block? Oh, you crouch. Oh, that's quite good. And can you still put these on shields? No, probably not, unless you can do it in the loom. Apparently not. Well, that's a shame. Good idea, Mojang, but... Uh, do you know what I mean? Like, once again, you've... made something and... Not exactly followed through with the idea. I just thought, oh, do you know what? We'll, we'll give it yet, yeah, and it's not going to serve any purpose at all. Um, I can see the use for this, um, but at the same time, I think it would cause a serviceable lag. And this, I actually don't see the point other than for decoration purposes only, is the only thing that I could ever see that used for. Uh, I'll have a quick down look downstairs, see if I've got any. Yep. Slime farm's broken. Again. Thank you, Mojang. You actually make my life hell. Ink, feathers, and a book. In a written book, I think. Yep. Okay, let's go and see if I can put this in there. Because that was the one thing that I didn't actually check. Okay, so I can put that in there and it doesn't give a redstone signal. Uh, yeah, let's sign it. 
No, no, no. Let's go. J. Title. J. And sign and close. And let's see what happens. Absolutely nothing. It is literally so you can just. Oh my days. So no, uh, in bedrock version of the game, unfortunately, this has no redstone properties whatsoever. Like, really? I'm hoping that, do you know what, I really want to try this now. Can we put, I haven't got protection. Oh. Okay, no worries. Um, so guys, uh, I'm actually going to leave it there. Um, I was actually expecting a little bit more from these items. Um, I think I hyped myself up a little bit too much for them, to be honest. So I am sorry about that, but I am actually very disappointed in that. Like, why not? Like, you should be able to put in an enchanted book in here and say you don't want the enchantment on that book. A certain enchantment on that book you should be able to spend levels to remove the enchantment and also uh, and also be able to put in say um, an, an enchanted item that you don't want and that enchanted item will then you can then spend levels to remove that enchantment and you'd use the redstone signal to see how many levels that you would need. Um, and because it, redstone cuts out at 15, you would do for every two of these. No, for every one of these, it counted as two, so you'd have 30 levels. Um, depending on how big the enchantment was and stuff like that. Well, that's my idea anyway. Unfortunately, ladies and germs, that is all the time I have for today. I am actually getting fairly tired as well. Um, and I need to get ready for the dragon fight, which uh, episode 9 is going to be just me getting ready. Um, and how I'm going to go about doing that. So I do hope you'll enjoy me. And then episode 10 will be the actual dragon fight, so I can get shulker boxes and... Uh, I can actually start going mining properly because, yeah, it's not fun when you've only got an ender chest. So, anyway, ladies and germs, I do hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, hit that like button. If you've really enjoyed it, then don't forget to subscribe. But I'm all out of time. My name's Joker, and I will see you in a mini. Money. Mo. Ta ta for now. Anybody else notice that the shield is very glitchy? It reacts after you crouch. Should really react while you're crouching. Anyway, goodbye!